communications like breathing. Mm -hmm. we, we use it all the time or we could be using it all the time. And we don't even know what's what we're missing until we see someone else do something and go, wait, how did you do that? How did you mm -hmm. influence that person? How did you get mm -hmm. them to a yes? How did you transform that relationship? I, I had my landlord move in downstairs recently and he crossed a boundary with me big time. He would open the adjoining door and come into my space without notice. And, you know, initially I, I tried communicating and I tried talking with him and, and he said, I'm not asking you permission. I'm just, just telling you, this is how it's going to be. I was having a panic attack. And initially I called the police. You know, I did it reasonably calmly since I'm having a panic attack. And I said, Hey, can you help mediate? Is there something you can do? And, and they did, they helped mediate, but I then used everything I had, took me a couple of days, used all the skills that I'd learned. And I transformed that relationship from him being an enemy downstairs where I'm calling the police to an ally who's picking up groceries for me in town and I'm helping him carry his groceries. And like this guy became, a wow. this guy became a friend, but I had to use everything that I had. I wish I'd had that when I was beginning. I wish I knew about revealing. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew about transparency. I mm -hmm. wish I knew about vulnerability. I wish I knew about curiosity. These are the things I teach managers and, and, and sometimes vice presidents and directors so that they can have uh, a better time being a leader within their company.